guys, my name is Jack and welcome back to Chef Jack Attack. And today we're in beautiful Montauk, New York, my favorite place in the world. The best food, the best beaches, the best people. I love this place and they have a lot of great fresh ingredients known as seafood. They have the best seafood you can get. It's a fishing town with the best fish. So today we'll be making fish tacos. Fish tacos, everybody. So the ingredients you're going to need are flour tortillas. And so now... <coughs> You can use uh, corn tortillas, but I like to toast the flour tortillas. The corn tortillas, they fall apart when you um, toast them. So I'll use flour tortilla, tortillas, I recommend it. So you can use two yellow peppers that I just made. Yeah, um, salt, pepper, olive oil, super simple. So right here we have tile fish. And you're like, what's tile fish? Well, tile fish is not on a lot of uh, menus of restaurants but it's super fresh and super delicious. It's caught locally here in Montauk, New York. So I recommend using three, three fillets. Right now we have two. And see how I cut these up? I cut the, cut the fish in half for every fish you have. I recommend it cooks easier and it fits in the pan. This dish is for about four people. Arugula. Arugula, you only use a little bit. It's a little bit bitter, but you're a little bit bounces out really nice. Butter, lime, sour cream, paprika, salt, pepper. Those are the ingredients you're gonna need. So our first step is heat our pan. You're gonna use it to about high, like we've done last time. So you're gonna start seasoning these fish. So first, pepper, a little quick of that. It's enough. You're gonna use some sea salt. Season that up there pretty good. We want the salt. Good. Match your salt you don't use, just throw it out. Okay, now do the same for this side. The skin. Wash your hands. Always wash your hands. Soap, everything. It gives a nice little smokiness to it. Nice. Now, olive oil. You can put a good amount of olive oil on. Olive oil. Uh, you could use butter, but we are trying to be a little more healthy, so we're going to use olive oil. You don't really need the butter. Um, the butter you uh, should use on the peppers. It cooks it down really nice, gives it a nice flavor. Just a little bit though, like just a little bit, like a little pinch. So this is hot. We're gonna get that a little hot right now. So when that is cooking, we're gonna make our sauce. It's uh, like a sour cream sauce, so it's super, super simple. Sour cream, uh, you're gonna need the lime, a little paprika, um, Icelandic sea salt, and a little bit of freshly black pepper. So. They get a little hot. So you don't want to put fish in early. It can really mess up the time. Like you can really mess up the fish and everything. So you want to like that. So we're gonna add it right now. How fish is super delicious fish. That sizzle, I mean it's cooking very good. Put it down like that. Wash your hands again. Super important to wash your hands. This is like one of the most important things of cooking, is always wash your hands. Towel, okay. Now, that's cooking, sauce. So, just some regular sour cream. And this will tear to the side that are toasting. Sour cream, take your spoon. Okay, so you're gonna take a big spoon of this, and this is sour cream. Good, you don't need, you're not gonna use a lot. Put that back. Okay, now, uh, isolated sea salt. Okay, that fish, that means it's cooking beautifully. All right, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Now you're gonna use your black pepper. Okay, so that, 
it around a little bit. Okay, now, paprika again. You have a lot of paprika in it. Put them out of that. Set up. Alright, perfect. Now, lime. Nice. Please be careful. I'm gonna take this lime. You're gonna cut it like that so it doesn't slide. Throw it out. Throw it out. Check your fish. See how it's cooking. Cooking nicely. You need a little bit more. Put that back. Line. This way. Same way how we cut it in the last episode. It's super simple. Wow, you're gonna use all the slime you can get. Sometimes it can be hard to use all of it. Okay. That's good. Save it. This is what this one's gonna be on when on the top and at the end. Put your line back. And. Okay, now fish. Back to your fish. You're going to give it a flip. Careful, it will sizzle. It might sizzle, it might be on your skin. It doesn't feel the best, but it will probably happen. Keep mixing this. You want to get the line all incorporated there. Really, really work it. Get that lime in there. We don't really want it too wet. So just get in there. Perfect. So everything's cooking nicely. So you're wondering, why does arugula when you could use lettuce? Now, you could use lettuce. I mean, lettuce is one of the most common um, things on a taco. So right now we're gonna use arugula. It's very fresh. Um, it's you know super super healthy, and you're only gonna use a couple of pieces of this because it is bitter. You're gonna use maybe like maybe like two to three little little pieces on there. Remember, this is for about four people, so you're using all of this. That's cooking. So the reason why you um you don't want to put a lot of a lot of, a lot of seasoning on fish is well because you have the peppers. The sauce can season very well. So you don't want to overpower the beautiful fish and the beautiful taste of these delicious tacos. So these uh, fish, they do take a little bit. They do take a while. So it is very beautiful fish, but it sometimes is a pain I'm about to cook. Mix it around. And at the end, you will use butter, just like on the peppers, just a little bit, because like I said, you want to be on the healthy train. So I want a little bit of butter on the fish. Okay. It's cooking good. Tortillas. I like I said, always flour tortillas. They toast better. Of course, I do like corn better. But if you look like a toastness to it, and I, to I don't know how to explain that. If you toast it, always use flour. I like to use them. Um, if you have like a electric one, just put it in a pan like this one. On high, no butter, no olive oil, just put it. Make sure it's cooked so it doesn't burn. But if you have a stove top, just leave, like put it on low and let the flame get nice and brown and stuff. Fish. Move it around and the olive oil, everything. Make sure you get all those good flavors. Careful, the skin is probably gonna fall off. You don't really need the skin on the top, though, so that's fine. One, two, three, flip. Be careful, you're in no rush. Oh, almost got it. Almost got it. <laughs> there you go. So now, so this is going to add just a little bit more seasoning, just a little pepper. He's going to do like the slightest, let me go too. 
You're gonna need the slightest, the slightest little pepper there. A little bit of salt, be careful. It might, some extra might come out. It's a, you know, you don't really wanna waste it, but it tends to happen a lot. If you're, so that's good. Move it around. So now you're gonna use some butter in this. And a little bit of butter. Just a little bit. Right there. Hands are washed, everything's clean. Mix it around in that butter. So now wash your hands, you got butter all over your hands. Slimy, you can drop your knife. Don't want to lose a finger here. So now, so now we can start. Take your plate, tortilla, a little bit of this sauce, a little bit of arugula. Lay it right next to it. A good amount of arugula. Peppers, we're about to use two of them. All right, good amount. And now, you're gonna take another one. You're gonna do two for everyone. See that toast, the brown is so good. Sauce. Rugula. Peppers, about two on each. A little crack of pepper on each. It's really important to season while you go. Super important. So it's like mix some salt. <laughs> this is the best. This is the game changer. Just a little bit. You don't want to overpower it. Bam. Super important. And tacos. Tacos need to be seasoned. I don't see tacos as like a bland food. You need to be taco. So fish. Fish. Oh, see that brown? It's super good on the taco. So I'm, I'm guessing maybe about maybe four more minutes on this fish. It does take a while. It does take a while. Don't want to lose a lot of these peppers. Super strong. Just yellow peppers. You could use green. You could use red. You could use even onions. But I for sure, like, if you do that, make sure they're cooked. I like onions on my tacos, but for fish, I don't know, onion and fish on the taco, it's probably good, but want a little bit lighter. You can use green on a taco, you can use orange, red, any of those. But we're using yellow, because they're bright, and they make you feel like the summer. So it's bright. This dish is all about being bright. It, it's, uh, tacos are bright, bright, beautiful. You get the idea. Yeah. This little piece right here, maybe two more minutes, you have to take it apart. Give it one more minute. So yeah, it is gonna be moshed, but it's not like you're gonna put a whole fish on the top. You're gonna put a little like bound up pieces. So round that up, cut it up. I know it looks like a mess, but you have you like put a whole fish on top of No, so you're not use this right here. It's your plate. Just use the small one, use the smaller one, it's cooked. Use a good amount of fish, use your fish tacos. Mix it up. Alright. Mix it up, everything. All right, now, these are no bones in these fish. They're all filleted at the place. Turn it around with enough fish. Keep mixing. There we go. Oop, dropped it. It's fine, clean it up later. Now 
This looks, smells so delicious in here. I'm super excited for these. I really, really am. All right. Let these cook. Careful, put that back. Okay, now, so the extra one comes in. Okay. Hands. Now it's time to eat. So these look delicious. Now, sauce and super good sour cream, super, super yummy. You have to have sour cream on top. Oh, come on. You're gonna take a bite. One, two, three. Mmm. Sorry, it's so good. It reminds me of Mexico, the fresh ingredients. This is so good. This is such a summer good dish. Thank you guys so much for tuning on this video. Keep eating, keep cooking. We'll see you on the next recipe. Bye guys. I just ate one and it was mind blowing.